You finally come back from it. I'm working on fixing you to become that ready. Don't leave me with the trash again. Please. Hello and welcome back to another video by me, Cora Bubbles. And this week I'm presenting to you my version of Penny that's a little bit broken. Uh, Penny is a cosplay that I've really enjoyed doing. I made her about two years ago, a year and a half ago. And uh, every time I wear Penny, people really like the way that I interpreted the costume and that I made it and uh, they, they feel like I reflect the character. So I think about this a lot that, you know, she's a robot girl, so if, if she was broken and left behind, you know, this is probably what she would look like. So I decided one half of my face, I was gonna do glam and I just put on a crap ton of concealer and I didn't put on full face foundation. I did put on primer. Um, I don't tend to use full face foundation because I have really clear skin. So it, it doesn't really make a difference and not, I find it really hard to match my skin tone anyway because I'm so fair. So um, I just did pretty basic makeup on, on this side. I'm not super strong at makeup skills so this is really me just playing around and trying to get better at it. So I also have a Ben Nye uh, cream makeup kit from given to me by Undead Toasty who is a beautiful human and a lot of the products that I'm using here are from that kit so I was able to try and even improve my normal makeup skills as well because there's a lot of things I don't have like the lip color that I ended up going with and the, my eyebrow pencil I, I, I didn't own that stuff before so I was able to make even my normal makeup look even better and have a chance to finally do some special effects makeup so the eyeliner I'm using here is actually just cream makeup from the kit and uh, it was a lot easier for me to put on than my normal liquid eyeliner because it's really hard for me to do that because I, I, I wear glasses so I have very bad vision so as soon as my hand crosses over my eye I can't see anything so it's very frustrating but it was a lot easier to control with the cream. Here I'm using more cream to uh, add little highlight details with the white and I'm going to do a lip. Here I just, I'm doing half of my lip but eventually I went back and filled in the rest because I decided I didn't want uh, my makeup to go right down the middle of my face. I wanted it to be sort of just an asymmetrical type thing but I really like the way that this looked. It looked like a matte lip and I was like wow that's fancy. Use some concealer to clean up my mistakes and make me look extra sharp. So at this point I had painted on my outlines and I was still convinced I was going to be able to draw a skull on my face. Uh, it, it, it turns out that that, di that didn't work. I don't have that skill. I don't, I, I don't fully even really understand. Uh, the bones of my face apparently so uh, I tried really hard I wanted it to kind of be like a terminator thing so I went with red eyes and I used kind of the browns and the reds to make sure I filled it in and I used a sponge to get rid of the brush strokes I do recommend using not a small brush and something that kind of blends it a little bit better but I didn't want to use my beauty blender because I felt like that would just ruin it with the cream but uh The, the makeup sponge did, did a decent job. So at this point, I just 
I'm looking at the camera and just trying to figure out how stupid this looks and, and I didn't like it. So I was like, you know what? Let let's just let's just try something different. And so I just decided to paint it in. And uh, it, it was supposed to be like gray, but it kinda came out this like ready red muddy color. Which honestly I, I liked. I liked a lot. It kinda looked like just like this dark like sad burn kind of color and I was all for it although if I did this again I would probably do it like a green because that's kind of color of electronics um, I didn't have a green in my kit so I just I wouldn't have been able to do that even if I wanted to but if I decided I did a 2.0 version I would probably do that I'm um, trying to put in some more contouring again since I've already like blended all of it out and I just use my white cream to, to put that back in where my cheekbones are, where my temples are, and a little bit on my forehead. So now I'm putting in blood. It may have been an odd choice for me to put blood in because sh she's a robot, but I'll be frank, I have blood in my kit and I wanted to put it in there and I thought it would look way more gory and because I, I, I don't know if I actually have the skills to make it look nice without just adding blood. So I decided to add blood and then I kind of wanted to make it look like I ripped off a section of my face. So I used scar wax. Luckily the scar wax is in the same color of my skin, which is fair. And uh, I just put some spirit gum on and then over top of it, I put uh, liquid latex after I read the directions and it said, don't just put the shit on your face. And I like the way that that came out. I put some blood underneath it once it dried so it looked like I had actually just like ripped my face off. At this point, I decided that, you know what? I want to try put some traces on like a real PCB. But um, I don't know if I was like necessarily happy with that part. I think that if I had some sort of like liquid gold liner to put on my face or maybe like a, a, a gold paint it would look better but I did what I could don't recommend putting the black on though that was uh, that was a bad choice there, there's no black traces in electronics it doesn't make any sense I tried to use some green eyeshadow to put green traces in there D didn't work at all <laughs> didn't didn't make a difference Now I'm just putting that blood underneath the scar wax now that it's dried and it really makes it pop there, it really gives it that dimension. And I also decided to put it on my eyes because I wanted to look scary. I clearly wasn't scary enough at this point because I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to add wires to my face. Look like it just ripped them out. So they don't have a whole lot of surface area. So you really have to like hold it down for a long time and make sure once they're mostly dry, start putting some liquid latex on there and it gives it some more hold. For the last piece, I decided that I wanted to go over my eye, but it looked like it was ripped. Small piece on one side, one small piece on the other, and I just frayed it the best I can with a pair of uh, cutters. These, these pieces, were they really didn't want to glue to my face. Patience, Courtney. I also can't see anything because I, I don't 
I, I wear glasses, and as soon as something goes across my face, I can't see anything, so I just had to sit there and hold it for a long time. So all in all, this makeup look probably took me two hours to do. I was taking my time, and I was enjoying myself, and I really did two different, completely different looks. Um, but I was really happy with the product, and this is something that I would totally like to maybe revisit and maybe do at an actual convention and uh, show the world. I'd like to maybe think about going to other costumes I own and doing some special effects uh, options with those as well because it's uh, like almost opening up a whole new world. Plus, I don't have to make a new costume and I get a whole new concept. Without further ado, I present to you, Poor Penny. I can be fixed. It wasn't combat ready. Thank you for joining my video and watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.